Hey guys and welcome back to S Walker Makeup. I really hope you're all doing well. In this video I'm going to be sharing with you some tips and tricks on how to make your lipstick last all night long. Now I get asked this question quite a lot because I love wearing a bright lipstick so I thought I'm going to make a video about it, share with you my tips and tricks. So if you want to learn how to get this lip look and make it last for hours through eating, drinking, maybe a kiss, if you want a kiss with your bright lipstick on it's up to you, <laughs> then just keep on watching. So before I apply the lip liner, all I'm going to do is take a little bit of concealer and I'm just going to put that over the lips to create kind of a blank canvas. Okay, so the lip liner I'm going to be using today is called Process Magenta from MAC and I think this is a MAC Pro colour but any lip liner you can do is, is absolutely fine. So I'm just going to begin, I might not be able to talk while I'm doing this so just follow as I'm going. So you can see now I've gone right around the edges of my lips and I've looked straight ahead in the mirror and tried to find a symmetry in my lips because my lips are actually thinner on this side than they are on this side so I kind of have to compensate by going over the edges a tiny little bit on this side just to try and even things out a little bit. So just look straight ahead in the mirror and try and find any kind of areas that need smoothing out to match. So once you've got the outline done it's really important for the next step and that's to fill it in with the lip liner over the entire lip and that'll create a really nice smooth even canvas for the lipstick to be applied on top of. This is my number one tip for getting your lipstick to last all night is just go over the whole lip with a lip liner and then you've got a really nice matte texture um, and the lipstick won't slip and slide around over your natural lips. If you want to make sure that this is going to last even longer than it already will, I'd recommend going over with a stain. This is the um, Revlon Kissable Balm Stain, I think, so it's quite moisturising as well. So I'm just going to go over with this to make sure that there's a layer underneath, so that when you're eating or drinking, if anything does fade away over the top, this is going to remain underneath and stay in place for hours. They're really nice as well these because they smell quite minty and they're really comfortable to wear because they're very moisturising. So once you're at this stage you can completely leave it there but if you want to go one step further and make sure that this lip is not going anywhere you need to try out this top tip because it might not be the most glamorous trick in the world but trust me it works. Take a piece of toilet paper or tissue if you want to be a bit more fancy. <laughs> Tear it in half so you've just got one piece. All we're going to do is place this over the lips and press in a loose powder with a big brush. Now what this does is it draws out any excess oils from the lipstick, meaning that it's just going to stay forever because the oils won't allow it to slip around. So I'm just going to take a big powder brush. This is some Lizelle loose powder but just use whatever powder you have and just load up your brush with it. Place the tissue over your lips and press the powder in. So you can now see I still have the bright colour underneath but all the excess oils and that top kind of more slippery layer has come off right here onto the tissue. Now if you're someone who has fine lines in your lips or perhaps you get a little bit older and the lines become a little bit more apparent or you just have drier lips, I'd really recommend going over this with a lip brush. You can actually just go in with a clean lip brush over the stain and just really blend it in or you can go over with a lipstick or even a liquid lipstick if you prefer a more glossy finish and just really press and rub it into the lips with the lip brush. Now this will make sure that the lipstick is really blended right into the lip and it's not just sitting over the top like a film. So take a lip brush and either a liquid lipstick or just a plain lipstick on its own. I'm just going to go in with the lipstick today. This is Girl About Town from MAC. I'm just going to take the lip brush, load it up and then really press it in with the lip brush. Now 
Now if it were me, I'd probably just leave it there and go out with this pink lip. I don't like a super glossy look, that's just my personal preference, but for the sake of the video, we'll go in with the Rimmel Apocalypse in the shade Apocalyptic, which is my favourite shade that they do, and just apply that over the top. I'm actually just going to take a little bit more tissue and just blot that and you'll see you just get off the excess. Okay so this lip colour is not going anywhere, we've got about 10 million layers of lipstick on and we're going to make sure that as each one fades off there's something else underneath protecting you from drinking, eating, kissing, whatever you want to do with your bright lipstick on and um, it's going to last all night long. So our lips are hydrated first of all from the lip balm, then we've got the lip liner that gives us the precise shape. The lip stain is basically for when the lipstick wears off over the top from eating and drinking and things like that. So you're covered on all bases and this is not going anywhere. So I really hope you all enjoyed this video and picked up a few handy tips along the way. Let me know what you think in the comments section below and also what's your favourite lip colour to wear? Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed. See you in my next one. Bye everyone.